Hey there, Taurus. Welcome to Zen Tarot. My name's Julie. I'm going to do a reading for you, Taurus, for the first half of January 2024. January 1st through the 15th. Taurus, happy new year. Happy, happy new year. We did it. We got through. Here we are at the beginning of a brand new year. So happy new year to you. Thank you so much for stopping by and for giving support to my channel. I can't tell you how much I appreciate it. If you like this reading, don't forget to hit the like, share, and subscribe buttons. And this is a, uh, just a reminder, this is a general tarot card reading for the sign of Taurus. Anywhere in your chart, really, or if you're just checking in on a Taurus, all are welcome here. It just might not resonate with everyone. But welcome, welcome, Taurus. What's going on? Let's get you a moon oracle card. Moon oracle card for the sign of Taurus. Spirit, tell me about Taurus. Tell me about the sign of Taurus. Oh my God, so many. It's time to release negativity, work through your fears, win-win outcome, nothing will come of this situation, the end is near, <laughs> and you're close to achieving your goal. Taurus, this is all about, every single card is about working through your fears, working through that dark night of the soul, and achieving some kind of final outcome here, ending something out once and for all here, so... I really do love that uh, the end of a tough cycle approaches. Your commitment is being tested. Again, another card of hold on, hold on. You're in a, uh, the end here. You're at the very end where that wall is always put up, where that last uh, kick down, that kick, the kick down the wall here is happening. So you're right there, you're right there. Hold on, hold on. Animal spirit guide for up in the ether for the sign of Taurus. What is in the ether for Taurus? What kind of animal spirit guide is walking with Taurus? Wow, you're being watched here by spirit. And the hummingbird, look at this. The happiness coming through. The singing a new tune now. The humming along with a new tune now brings you into the light. It's really you're changing the tune, changing the song here. But spirit is watching you. They see this end coming. They want to see you celebrating. They want to see you happy. And they don't want to miss that moment. So... There's a cadre, a cadre of spirit around you watching, watching for this beautiful moment of inspiration or eureka or I did it, the sense of accomplishment. Look at you. You've been in hibernation, been in hiding, really uh, keeping to yourself, gone introverted for a little while. And the bat, you've been trying to gain some other sense, trying to learn some other skill, trying to understand uh, something bigger here, something broader here. And it brought in a lot of rabbit holes, brought in a lot of darkness that you had to fight, that you had to get through. Whew, what kind of Zentero? Zentero card is up in the ether for the sign of Taurus. Spirit, what kind of Zentero card is up in the ether? I saw source. I saw source. You've been going deep. You've been going really deep. Turning in, you need some rest. You need some sleep. Even when you're sleeping, you're not really getting that rejuvenational sleep that you need. So it's time to relax before you go to bed. Listen to some nighttime meditation, some guided meditation. Jason Stevenson is absolutely wonderful. I trust him. I don't trust a whole lot of nighttime meditation because I don't want things getting put in my brain while I'm sleeping here. So I'm very cautious, <laughs> very paranoid. Maybe I'm a Taurus. So maybe all Taurus are very cautious when it comes to programming. We're hard to program, Taurus. We're very hard to program because of this hard head that we have. We're very stubborn in our thinking here. So uh, it's, not, it's not easy to program us, but we can program ourselves. We have this very um, intense way of going deep and listening to what feels good to us, what lifts us up. So Jason Stevenson is one to listen to for you. But it's time to get some valid sleep, some real sleep here, some real rest. doesn't have to be sleep, but some real shutdown time. You've been very busy, really overwhelmed, having a lot of things to finish up here. Uh, tying up some loose ends for the end of the year. Receptivity. Oh, Taurus, it is time for you to receive. Yes, yes, yes. Put those arms up. You are at the finish line now, running through that tape. And Spirit is watching you. They're cheering you on and uh, celebrating you. It is time to receive. Open up your heart space and let the love in, Taurus. It's time to receive. It is absolutely time to receive. You've cleansed all the chakras here. You've done the detoxing. You've done the studying. You've done the learning here. It is time to receive. You're going to be receiving in your sleep as well. So when you can shut it down in meditation or even sleep, even that REM sleep, 
uh, you're getting a lot of visits, a lot of visits from spirit, a lot of uh, counseling going on, a lot of talking going on and planning going on here. So a lot of you, you've managed to summon a lot of spirit around you, spiritual energy around you. And um, that can be overwhelming. You, you can hear them at all times and it's time to shut it down. You need that off switch. You need to shut it down. You've been really delving in deep into the spiritual realm here and you just got to shut it down for a minute. Take a break. Take a break. I had to do that this last week. I had to really take a break. Just shut it down with uh, the readings and stuff because I just got too, too overwhelmed. Look at this with the Ten of Pentacles. Wow, wow, wow. A meeting of the minds, a coming together, a real understanding with the family here. So a family gathering, a get together that feels really easy. Um, maybe you're not expecting that. Maybe you're worried about the get togethers or uh, uh, being around others because you've been such an introvert. It's almost like you have your safe spaces, your safe places that you go to. And you don't really venture out much more because it's been real scary. It's been unknown. It's been... Um, you didn't know what was going to happen. So you really pulled it in. You really pulled your energy in and that pulled spirit in. It summoned spirit in to assist you through some of that dark time, through some of those commitment testings here. But wow, is there a celebration coming for you? Something to really be happy about and to feel safe. There's this anchor coming into you that uh, tethers you into the ground, grounds you back in away from the spiritual, away from the, not away from spiritual you'll never be disconnected from spirit but a, a more mother earth Gaia connection coming to you a more earthy earthy grounding happening with you so you have the best of both worlds now and you're not just up in the clouds here nine of pentacles wow this is all about money some kind of big money coming in a bonus a promotion a raise just an upliftment when it comes to money this new spiritual stream of income coming to you because of the dark night of the soul you've gone through the learning experience that you've gone through through gives you a sense of independence a sense of freedom here and uh, a, a real sense of knowing that you earned this that it wasn't just this uh, get rich quick scheme you planned this you prepared for this you hid away for it you became almost agoraphobic for it but here it is now you've gained your independence you've gained your freedom and you're really tethered to the ground here, anchored in, anchored in. Mother Earth Gaia is coming in through your root chakra here, uh, maybe through meditation and uh, uh, giving you all the abundance you need. It is time for you to receive. What is the challenge in the mind space, the challenge in the thought space for Taurus? What's the challenge? The Queen of Swords, you've been beat up, you've been... Uh, really uh, tested here, very, very much tested uh, your skills here, your determination here, your willpower has been tested. A lot, a lot has been going on with you all at once, everything, everywhere, all at once with you, Taurus. It was a massive spiritual awakening that you stepped right into willingly, but I don't think you knew how uh, what a struggle you were in for here. But it is the end of that. You are done with that struggle. You are done with that learning about the other side of things so that you can find that happy medium, that happy middle. You're sitting right in the middle ground here with everything you need. So it's so beautiful. Seven of Cups on the bottom of the deck, some options opening up. But Seven of Cups also tells me overwhelmment. You're feeling overwhelmed right now. Uh, really defending yourself, defending why you feel the way you feel about things or why you see things the way you do here. So you're in defense mode. Future, future thought for Taurus. What's the future thought for Taurus? Four of Pentacles, you're saving very much, saving and gathering a plan here, garnering a plan here so that you can be this peaceful, secure, independent person. So yeah, really gathering a plan here, thinking about things got the spreadsheets out you got the uh the calculator out and you're really in planning mode now you're not not feeling sorry for yourself you're not going to be a victim in your own life any longer you're taking the reins taking control and if people won't change around me then i'm going to change i'm the only one that can i have control over that i i have control over nothing else but my emotions my reactions and the way that i feel about things so you're taking control you are taking the reins back taking the reins back here. Spirit, what's your advice in the mind space for Taurus? What's your advice? Page of Wands. Ooh, look at this, a new adventure, a spirit guide calling you out this way, Taurus, this way. I will show you. I will lead the way here. So you're opening up to um, your gut feelings, your instincts, your uh, possibilities here. If you just let go, you just let go, you shut it down, you shut down the 
uh, planning of it all and it just magically happens. That's your higher guides making things work, just moving the wheel for you, navigating for you and letting you have this very, very much needed break. You're just getting this very much needed break here. Look at the Hierophant. There's your card on the split here. Just I was playing with the cards and there's the Hierophant. You're elevating up. You're, you're, you're rising up. You're changing your vibration here, changing your frequency here. And you're, you're tuning in to the right spiritual realm now. You're not tuning into these dark energies to explore that. You went on this kind of exploration here to the dark. Uh, but now you, you found the difference. You found the, uh, the good feeling spiritual uh, uh, realm that we can all tap into here. So you've tapped into it. You've tapped into it. You, you popped the bubble there and it's just all coming down on you. The spiritual information is raining down on you. For some reason, I'm seeing the frog right now. Hard space, hard space for Taurus. What is Taurus feeling? Spirit, tell me what Taurus is feeling right now. What is Taurus feeling right now? strength look at this leo energy you have the strength you have the power you have the magic you've been through something look at all this chaos you're walking away from but you are not looking back you are only looking to the side here to the equalness here to the now moment here you're not looking back and you're not looking forward it just sets you up for disappointment and makes you feel like a failure you've decided this so you're moving into the now moment into the present moment what do i have right now what can I enjoy right now in this moment, in this minute here? Absolutely beautiful. Look at this. It's just a, a spiritual awakening uh, happening right at the first of the year to prepare you for so many wonderful um, years to come here. You're on the other side of that dark night, Taurus. Yes. Yes. All right, strength. What led up to that? The nine of swords, the grief. Look at the two nines. You ending something out here. You finishing something up here. So you're just, you're just washing your hands now. You just, you're done with it. You're done. You, you had your hands in the soil. You had your hands in the muck of it. You had your hands in the, in the grid of it. And now you just step back. You're taking a step back and you are analyzing and it's interrupting your sleep here. The past, the, the moments, those moments that really broke your heart, that really stripped you from feeling good and feeling healthy and feeling well here. Those moments are stripping you of your now moment. And spirit really wants you to know that. Taurus, it's time to step out of that grief. It's time to step out of that sorrow. Look at the messenger in the window. Look at the bird of hope singing away here with the hummingbird energy coming through. There's a message. There's a sweet, sweet nectar, a sweet healing potion ahead for you. Spirits waiting for this moment, waiting for this moment for you to let go of the grief here. Let it go. What's the challenge in the heart space? What's the challenge? Death and rebirth. Oh my God, look at this. A new door, a new opportunity here. Uh, it, this is a rebirth. This is a massive, massive rebirth from the cave out into the sun here, out into the glory here. Stepping into the limelight, receiving what you deserve here for everything you've put out here for the karmic return to happen now. And it's happening in your sleep. It's happening in your downtime. Only you're not giving yourself much downtime. <laughs> it's not like you have any choice in that, right? It's like, yeah, yeah, geez, thanks. <laughs> oh, I need a break, huh? Okay. <laughs> well, you can go to work. Julie said I need a break. <laughs> but you're getting this break. You're getting this moment, this turnaround, this massive rebirth moment for you. And it's glorious. It's glorious. Future heart space, future emotion for Taurus. Future emotion for Taurus. What is the future? Two of Swords, that wanted to come out earlier here. It puts you in decision mode. You're in a decision mode with this death and re rebirth. When one door uh, slams shut, another one does pop open, but your back is to it. You don't quite see it yet. You're in decision mode. Was it all worth it? Was it all worth it? I can't even see a future. I can't see anything good coming. Like I'm just in waiting mode. I'm in savings mode. I'm in defense mode. So you're waiting for this spark. You're waiting for this sign. You're waiting for this okay, the green light to step through the door here. So there's just something, there's some memory, there's some a tugging to the past here that you're having a really hard time letting go of. Spirit, tell us about that. Tell us more about that. Tell us what that anchor is to the past for Taurus. 
the three of swords, the grief, and the six of wands. Wow, maybe you lost position or you lost title to something or uh, status changed here. Status changed overnight maybe and you're grieving. You're grieving what was lost or you're grieving what could have been or how it should have been or how you thought it was going to be here. So it is time to shut the door on that. It's stopping you from going through this new door, from these new opportunities uh, where people honor you and love you and pay you for your services here. Spirit, there's a team. There is a team around you. Taurus, I don't know what you've been doing. Maybe it's in your meditation or your sleep time, but you are part of this massive council. You're the leader of it. You have a say-so in this council, in these meetings that go on at night. And I think that's why you're feeling so exhausted. The world is going through a massive, massive shift right now. We can all feel it. We can't ignore it anymore. We can't deny that we're going through this massive shift right now. You are very integral in this. You are very needed in this. Your voice is a part of some kind of big council. And every single time you shut your eyes and you go into REM, bam, you are there. You are making the, the calls. You're making the decisions. You're part of this massive realm of uh, transformational energy. You're part of a bigger thing here. This is bigger than you. <laughs> wow. 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 All right. What's in the foundation? What's in the foundation for Taurus? First half of January 24. What's in the foundation? What's in the foundation? Something flipped. I think maybe not. Okay. What's in the foundation for Taurus? Yes, it did. The seven of pentacles. Wow. That extreme focus. You've been hyper-focused on this. You've been knowing that this was coming for a really long time. You've been preparing for this. You've been in preparation mode and that's why it's been so difficult. You've been in boot camp. You've been in spiritual boot camp because you are the chosen one. You had to step up at this time here to sing out the light, to sing out the uh, well-being in all of us, if we can just find that seed, if we can plant the seed of hope here. And so you're very integral in this transformational energy for the collective, very focused on it. It is your purpose. It is your purpose to get some of these messages out. King of Pentacles, yes. And the Ace of Pentacles, my God, my God, Taurus, you're about to be paid. You are about to receive. Oh, Taurus, just open your heart up. Open your heart up to receive. It won't be those dark energies that were summoned before when you opened your heart up. You opened your heart up to all. You have these very beautiful boundaries now that others cannot cross. It's almost a universal law with you. And you are primed and ready to receive. You can manage it now. You can handle it now. Big, big riches coming to you. Big money coming to you and it's to pay you for your services at this time you have given and given and given you have grieved and uh, sorrowed for the way of the world here and now it is time to receive it is time to be paid for those services taurus my god is this big 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 in the money realm here because we are looking at the foundation here what we can hold what we can hold in our hands and look at what you're holding in your hand the gold the gold you found it you found it on this very treacherous journey where you almost lost it wow 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 future future foundation for taurus what's the future hold yes taurus the world my god you're at the end. The world is the last card in the major arcana. The fool's journey is over. Here comes the fool to start over again in this new abundant life, in this new life of you receiving, in this new life with you having these beautiful magical boundaries that you have created. You're part of this bigger council. You're part of this bigger scheme of things, the warriors of light. You're a light warrior. You are so powerful way more powerful than you feel because you're feeling very depleted right now. You're feeling exhausted right now. You just need to open your heart up to receive, receive the replenishment, receive the healing now, Taurus. Wow. Wow. It's going to change everything. It's going to change everything. And here comes the abundance. Here comes the money. <laughs> yes. Yes, this fool's journey is going to be beautiful for you for 24. It's a brand new beginning, a brand new start. 
ace of wands wow inspired action too you're going to be just inspired to do things inspired to do a card reading inspired to do a psychic medium uh healing inspired to do a reiki class inspired to do learn about crystals and geodes and how the earth uh really works with us and the connectivity of the of the crystals here i'm seeing crystals coming through for you very very strong and those crystals just turn into gold. Your knowledge turns into gold. Your knowledge turns into the security. Uh, while you're busy saving it, it's just accumulating behind you, accumulating the bank accounts are getting fatter and fatter because you're in this spiritual uh, celebration. You, you, you've achieved something. You have uh, received now, and now you know how that feels. And so you're encouraging others to open up, open up. Don't be so guarded. Don't be so closed down. Don't be such an introvert. Let's express ourselves in love. This is all done in love with you, Taurus. My God. Four of swords on the bottom of the deck, that massive healing and rest. You need rest. You need sleep. You need good, good sleep. You don't want to take any kind of um, sleeping aids here, Taurus. You don't want to shut down that subconscious mind of yours because you're very busy in there. You're very busy in there, but you can take the moments to rest during the day. Shut your eyes, clear it out. Don't think about anything. Don't try to bring anything in. Don't try to release anything out in those moments. Just really shut it all down. Just take that moment of silence, just silence for a minute. And um, that's going to change everything. It's going to give spirit a chance to really come in and soothe you and heal you and give you the replenishment that you need. But it, it, they need you to shut down. They need you to shut down for a minute so they can do their work here. Tell me how Taurus does that. How does Taurus just shut down? Look at this. My God, my God, with the high priestess and the ace of wands. But look at the mind space there. Look at the fire there. Look at the... Uh, uh, Oh, encouragement, encouragement to open up to spirit. You are channeling right now. You're just open up, just open up to receive. Imagine your heart space really opening up this green light, just really infusing you. Uh, have it just take over you, this green healing light, Taurus. The pinks and the purples, the spiritual information, it can, once you open up, it's just pouring, it's pouring into you. So you probably have ascension signs or you definitely in the past have these ascension signs and um, you have just suffered through those. You just didn't know. You thought you were going crazy, but it was all part of it. It was all part of this transformation. You had to experience it first. You had to go through it first so that you could turn around and heal the others who are going through it now, who have to experience this loss, this shock and awe, this uh, loss of dreams, this loss of um, um, what they thought, who they thought people were, who they thought themselves were. It's just this big identity crisis that every single one of us have gone through since COVID when we were all sent to our corners, sent to our separate spaces here uh, to learn who we are, to see who we are. We all had to go deep here. We were uh, isolated. So wow, 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 did you need um, this opening to happen right now? Now, it couldn't have happened at any other time in your life, Taurus. This is the beginning. This is just the beginning of this spiritual gift that you've been empowered with. And you are part of this bigger picture. You're part of this bigger council, this bigger team of spiritual energy. It's all around you. It's just all around you. Wow, are you glorious. You're such a beautiful soul, an earth angel here on earth. I, I'm just so loving this energy of yours. Temperance, look at the Sagittarius energy coming out, but look at the major arcana with temperance and high priestess. Archangel Michael has been here. You've called him, you've summoned him, and he has been by your side the entire time, giving you the balance, showing you the dark and the light, but slaying the demons in front of you. Really, he's been the machete of the dark energies that you've had to fight off here. Archangel Michael was the one who banished the demons from heaven, right? So that's what he's been doing as you've been going through the spiritual awakening as you've been going through this dark night of the soul. It's, uh, it's really beautiful. He has been your warrior. You've called upon him and he has answered the call here. Taurus, this is so beautiful. Four of wands in the heart space. The celebration is yours now. The grief is over. The, the, the um, real, real um, heartbreak is over. It's over. You're on the other side of this grief, of this sorrow, of this having to let go, having to say goodbye to you and those around you because they've changed so much. So no one is the same, including you, but it's time to celebrate now, celebrate the differences, celebrate the gifts that you've learned here through the darkness.
it, it's been your light. It's been your guiding light. What is this death and rebirth about? Strength. Wow, 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 Taurus. Look at this integration. Look at this integration with the Leo energy. Now you are one. Now you are passionate. Now you are fiery. Now you are determined on a different level. Now you've integrated the darkness within you. You've made it part of you. That's part of those beautiful boundaries that you've made that it's a universal law. You cannot cross this with Taurus. And it popped this door of opportunity open. There's a stream of income coming for you, a massive stream of income coming for you when it comes to the spiritual realm. It is time for you to receive for your services now. You've been an integral part in the collective of raising the vibration, getting through this transformational energy for all of us. And now it is time to be paid for those services. You are about to receive. You're about to receive. Integrate this into your life. Make it part of you. Don't make it a big deal. Don't make it a rags to riches stories. This is just the natural progression of things. You are ready for this abundance. You are ready for this fortune now. It's just the, the logical next step now is the fortune. It's the logical next step for you. All right. Tell me about this decision, this decision mode that Taurus is coming into here. Seven of Wands. You've got to, you've got to let the other things go. You've got to let the, the uh, earthly, earthly needs go now. Spirit's got this. Spirit will support you. Spirit will handle this now. So you've got to let go of the needing to have anything. I need this money to come. As soon as you don't need the money to come, here it comes. Here it comes. It, it's just this natural resistance we all put in front of us because we need something to happen. We get in desperation mode. You of course were in desperation mode when you were going through that dark night. You needed to see the light. You needed to see this door open or all was lost lost or you were done here. So uh, let go of the need, let go of the earthly need, just go into the kind of yogi kind of mentality here, the Buddha kind of mentality here and know that all is well, all has always been well. You are moving into a new cycle here, a new fortune here, a new life here, a new opportunity here to really be you. There, there's just no way, no how anyone who is resonating with this reading is the same because now you are truly authentically you wherever you are. There's no mask. There's no hidden truths about you. There's no addictions you haven't revealed. There's no, uh, uh, there's no weaknesses you haven't revealed so that somebody could find that out and point that out at you and judge you. There's nothing that you haven't revealed because you're standing in your true authentic light here. My God, Taurus. All right, I want to see the spiritual team. I want to see what is Taurus a part of? What is this? It's, it's a galaxy of spirit. It's a, a council, some kind of council. What is that? What am I seeing here? What am I seeing here with Taurus and the higher ups? Wow, wow, wow. You and a Leo. You and a Leo, Taurus. This is, this is beautiful. Look at you standing in the sun, receiving though, receiving the spiritual information now, being open to receive. You're not blocking it by your fear of seeing beyond the veil here. You're not afraid. You're not afraid anymore to open your eyes to the spiritual realm here. And look, there's the hierophant. There you are, that elevation, that rising up. You've changed your vibration. You've absolutely changed your vibration. Leveling up, rising up, and um, receiving. Receiving. Look at this, Taurus and Leo. You know, I'm just laughing. I'm a Taurus son, and my husband of 37 years is a Leo. And I have followed horoscopes my entire, entire life. Since I was a little girl, I read the horoscopes in the newspaper. And when I met my Leo, oh, everyone was saying, no, 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 no. You can never mix a Leo and a Taurus. They're both too stubborn. They're both too hard-headed. And it will never work. And, you know, we had gone through our trials and tribulations. You got that right. But we are both authentically us. We have no mass. We have uh, nothing but um, openness with each other and um, standing in our true authentic light here together. So isn't that beautiful? I'm seeing all this Leo Taurus energy coming through. And, you know, 40 years ago, that was taboo. <laughs> in your face, in your face, card readers. <laughs> All right, let's see. Let's see. I want to see this big, big abundance coming to you, Taurus, this Eureka, this gold, this uh, uh, changing, the changing of the guard, the changing of 
your life here. So I want to look at that. I want to look at that. That one wants to come. Let's look at this beautiful new beginning, this new beginning in money for Taurus. What's that all about here? What is that all about? Must be this one, the chariot. Oh my God. The integration. Again, you've integrated this energy, the dark and the light. The chariot is all about uh, integrating the dark and the light to move forward. You can't ignore one or the other. You can't shun the dark too long and you can't shun the light too long. So everything comes into balance when you really look and you go deep and you find the answers of how can things be better? How can I be better? Nothing so great. It couldn't be better here. So wow, wow, huge integration. This is a massive transformation for you, Taurus. Massive. Look at this major arcana just in the clarifications We've got the high priestess, temperance, strength, the sun, the chariot, and the hierophant. My God, my God, huge transformation for you. All right, any last advice for Taurus? Knight of Cups, it's time to receive. Taurus, it's time to receive. It is time to receive the love, the money, the well-being, the health, the uh, good, the goodness to you. It's karmic return. It's karmically owed to you for your services here. You have paid your dues. It's time to walk into the sun. Walk into the sun. Walk out of that isolated cave. Walk out of that um, silence and move into the light. Move into the voices of God. Move into the voices of spirit here. You're part of a much bigger team. Much bigger team. And you're very diligently working toward this transformation for all of us so take the time to rest take the time to shut it down ask spirit please not tonight let me rest tonight let me rest tonight and i'll i'll rejoin the group tomorrow night <laughs> ask for a night off taurus you deserve it <laughs> and the ten of cups look at this the happiness the joy the well-being the connection the rainbow the rainbow taurus 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 2024 is going to bring you money Money, money, money from so many different streams. I'm seeing all these different streams of income coming in for you. And it's time. It's owed to you. It is owed to you. Congratulations. Congratulations, Taurus. I love this. I hope you like this reading. If you did, don't forget to hit the like, share, and subscribe buttons. I'm sending you all my love and light, and we are all in this together. We can do this. We can get, we've gotten through worse, Taurus. So let's, let's do this. Let's change the collective. Let's change the vibration here and let us all live in a better world. So I'm with you. I am with you. All right, Taurus, sending you all my love and light, and I will definitely tune in with you soon.